Okay, the other Senate race that we have uh, is Bill Brim and Josh Youssef. Josh could not be here this evening, so he does have someone speaking on his behalf. That would be Neil Young. So why don't we start with Bill Brim? Thanks, Al. Thank you very much for coming tonight. I'll be very brief because I really had no other choice. <laughs> uh, what I want to show you is that I'm going to leave some uh, information up here. I think it's out on this table, so if you're interested in seeing it a little deeper in what I'm going to talk about, it is here and you can take it home with you. Uh, about myself, just quickly, <laughs> I, was, I, I confess this. I was born in California, but I was raised in New Hampshire. Kensington, New Hampshire. I was there in the fifth grade. My family moved back here. We moved to New Hampshire. Uh, my wife and I have moved back to New Hampshire about 12 years ago because we love it. <laughs> but from Kensington, Exeter High School, U.S. Naval Academy, six years in the service. Um, the, the war was kind of winding down then. I got out, worked, worked, worked for Security Pacific Bank, and then was going to the USC Business School. Uh, went there full time for a year, and then uh, two years later I graduated as I was working full time as well. But the rest of my working life has been in the Wall Street, the Wall Street <coughs> oriented organizations. Trading, trading desk, I've run and I've traded my own account on the Board of Trade in, in Chicago. Um, and I've actually, before we moved back here from, we lived in San Francisco, I worked for Bank of America and the defeasance program. So we chose to come back to New Hampshire. We love New Hampshire. We believe in the New Hampshire advantage. The, the reason I'm running for this position is because I think that there's a couple that I have key phrases or key items that I want to talk about. I'll just tell you very, very quickly. The, I think we can do a better on the state budget. I mean, my concern is is that there's long-term liabilities that keep growing faster than we, we can pay for them with short-term money. So I think that's one key thing. Another thing is public education. We can do better than that. We did that in the charter school. We've seen how to do that. It's not a question of throwing more money at it. We can also... Um, um, <laughs> The 15. Uh, the other thing is the uh, I, 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 as being a veteran, my son was actually in Iraq four times. He's a graduate of the Naval Academy. He was over there, and we witnessed the anguish of a parent with their kid in se severe danger. Um, he was okay, although there was a report that he had been killed in the newspapers, and uh, actually in U.S. World Report, and people from all over the country were calling us, and uh, we had to go through that. So I, another thing is that I, I want to be involved in doing whatever we can to get more uh, help and support for our veterans. I've talked to the community college, and uh, we can do this with excess capacity in the state. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. Bill, why don't you stay right up here, and uh, we'll have uh, Neil Young, who's the surrogate for Josh Yusef. Okay. Um, uh, Josh has about three pages here, and I think we're going to have to dump two of them. But um, I was chosen to speak for uh, uh, for Josh Youssef because I suggested uh, Senator Forsythe. It turns out Senator Forsythe couldn't be here either, so it came down to me. But this is great. I finally get to speak as a Senate candidate, and I have to worry about winning or losing. <laughs> is this better? I got somebody out there going, they want to hear me. Okay, I usually speak loud enough. By the way, I, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but because the rules say here, Reagan's 11th commandment, it's the only thing he ever did that I didn't agree with. You must point out the differences between you and your, your opponent. How in the heck do we know what you stand for if you don't? I will be kind to Mr. Grimm because I think he's been on my program once by phone and he seems like a real nice guy, but I need somebody, we need somebody in government from the top of the land uh, with uh, Obama out all the way down to our state reps here in New Hampshire, our county commissioners. If you, by the way, vote Republican, right? Don't put Ed Phil Pot back in there again. Moving right along, as I said. Uh, Josh, I asked Josh in the early going, before I decided I'd be on his team, there's certain, uh, I'm awful because I demand that my candidate agree with me. And I have about five, oh yes, you don't get away from me. I'm pro-life, 
Josh Youssef is pro-life. I'm anti-sales and income tax. He's anti-sales and income tax. I'm for the right to work. He's for the right to work. All right? He's a Second Amendment guy. I'm a Second Amendment guy. But is that a 15? That's not a bad rating. So I, all I can say is that Josh couldn't be here, and for good reason, he's with his son. Uh, uh, I believe it's a birthday or something, but I appreciate you listening to me, and that's a happy face. That's a happy face. He believes in the 11th commandment. <laughs> now we get over. I like the Constitution, but not that one. You can take a few more seconds if you like. Bill did too. So really? I'll give you another. See, I didn't even notice. I'll give you another half a minute. A half a minute? Half a minute. Oh, you don't know what I can Keep say. Keep going, Neil. Keep I'm on a roll. As, I'm going as fast as I can. So let's see here. What do we got? Uh, I have a, a great lineup. By the way. Josh has put in here, so it's no surprise. He wanted me to ask you, Mr. Grimm, if you and Josh and one of your people from your campaign would like to join us on the radio, which is my program, where you'll be treated fairly well, we'll see. to do an hour debate. We'll see. We'll see is his answer. Okay, at least we've laid it out there. I'll leave you with this from the, uh, has not really has that much to do with politics, but I think it's, it's worthy of being said. My 15-year-old granddaughter from New Jersey was sitting at the at the bar at our house the other day. No, she wasn't drinking. We're not going to start that at 15. But on the back of her t-shirt it said, I had to move her long hair to find out what it said, but anyway. It says, some people dream of success, others stay awake and achieve it. That's what we need to do. Stay awake. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, Neil. One thing, kind word about you. No, no, no. No need to. No need to do that. I wouldn't want to stress you here. But stay up here because we do have one question for both of you. Bill, uh, you'll be answering it first, and it's uh, again the same question: Northern Pass, yes or no? I have actually looked at the Northern Pass. I'm in the process of doing that. I'll tell you what I see so far. My understanding is, and because these are some of the questions I ask, my current understanding is that the cost to of energy will actually affect all New Hampshire residents. Not in the same. Now I, I come from Franklin, so you kind of you understand wh wh where I'm coming from. Uh, it, it's a tremendous boon to Franklin. My understanding is that it is also it provides energy that is a cheaper cost, and it is certainly clean energy. So I think we need to look at this closely. I'm I'm uh, if, if, if as I I went and talked to the Northern Pass people because I want to find out what the deal really was. And I said, look, it would be, is this, is this better for all New Hampshire residents? They say that it's yes, it's, it's measurably better, but it's not it's not a huge, huge thing. So until I see that, I mean, that's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm looking at, uh, but I, I would be for it if, uh, if and the eminent domain was another thing that I was really happy to see that they did not use. I think they can't use it from my understanding. Okay, thank you, Bill. Neil? Okay, this is great because I, all my family, I'm the only one born in Laconia, all my ancestors, are, uh, or my uh, predecessors, I should say, or descendants, whatever, were born in Lancaster, New Hampshire. Uh, and I have family living up there now. They're opposed to it. But Josh Youssef is going to uh, represent District 7, which now includes Laconia and Franklin. I never thought I'd see that happen. Whatever. Here we are. Uh, talking with Josh, it is my feeling and my, it's my position, and I'd like him to vote this way. First of all, I don't trust public service. I'm afraid of an eminent domain, that they will pull it, play their little games, and therefore I will suggest, and I believe I'm right in doing so, that Josh Youssef will be with the folks who say no Northern Pass. By the way, in Franklin, the jobs are only going to last two or three years. So you're going to screw the rest of us for two years to make them look good in Franklin? Too many politicians in Franklin. But anyway, uh, that's where I'm at. If my time is up, I'll stop. Thank you, Neil. Um, we actually have a second question here. Are there any other questions for these two candidates before I read this one? Because this will be the last question. We're not normally going to do a second question, but I didn't give an opportunity for a second question to come in. The uh, question again here is, will or have you pledged to actively oppose any income or sales tax? If not, why not? 
I have actually done that, but I put on the account or on, on the sheet of paper two years maximum. As a, as a new person coming into the Senate, uh, I think it's actually it, it makes no sense to until I know what the, the, some of the facts are to do that. Uh, I will tell you that um, my concern is I am a low tax conservative fiscally conservative Republican. The, the, this is a bit of a canard, I think, as I t talked a little bit about, I'll talk about it more now. Um, what needs to be done with the state budget? We are putting pressure on, and you, you know how much the, the House had to work to get the budget passed this year. They did a tremendous effort to get some, some cuts. I mean, it wasn't necessarily pretty, but it needs to be done, it seems to me. Um, this, I guess the, the uh, I, I, I have to see it further, but uh, the, the, the real issue with the budget is, is, is the pressure being put on the spending side of the thing, and, and these tax caps and different kinds of things. They're they're not well they're well intentioned. They're just not as effective as they used to be because we're going around it. They're not. It's not taxes. It's just fees and costs and different things that are downloaded uh, or, or pushed down to the municipalities and even the individual the individual uh, homeowners. So. It's a it's a tough deal. Okay, thank you, Bill. Neil. Okay, I because I'm not Josh Yousef, I'll try to behave myself, but I can't. Uh, uh, no, uh, my candidate Josh Yousef says he's twice he's signed, he's pledged everything. He's against the sales and income tax. He will remain so because he and I believe that if you give government more money, they'll spend more. It's not a great idea. But I, I, I want to say something about Franklin and the tax cap. Laconia copied their tax cap. So to win Franklin, it's kind of hard to go in there and say, now you're not, you, know, you mentioned tax caps. Why not? We all live within a certain cap. So uh, right away, my candidate, Josh Youssef, says no. So there should be no question about it. He won't do it. So uh, I don't know what I don't want to say anything else to speak ill of uh, fellow Republicans, but I didn't like the answer. Okay, and Franklin, I don't think they're going to like the answer either because a tax cap should not be temporary. It's the rules of the house, and we make the rules. Thank you, sir. By the way, I'm going to steal this. Alan Glassman, I'm really, uh, Frank, nothing against you, of course, my friend. But Alan Glassman has been busting his rear end during his term, and I, I can see you nodding yes. And, but, and I can't thank him enough for getting Pam Bondi as my guest on the radio. And uh, no matter what happens in this upcoming election, of course, we want Romney to win. I think there's a place for Pam Bondi in the White House. Okay, then I'll respond. All right, uh, one minute each, that's it. Max. I, I, Neil, I think you're missing the big picture here. It's a very simplistic approach that you're taking on the tax. Obviously, we want to keep taxes low and we want to keep the overall cost of government low. But the only way to do that is to look at the spending side. You can put your tax caps up there and you can say you're going to do this and whatnot. You're not controlling anything. You have to go back upstream. You have to see these long-term commitments that we're enabling, or we're not enabling, but we're actually having these things respond. Our kids are responsible for paying for this stuff. And I'm going to be a watchdog and I'm going to look very closely at that. I'm going to talk loudly about that. We need to, we need to find out about it. Neil, one minute. Uh, uh, first of all, I don't know what we've got to find out about it. It's either a tax cap or it's not a tax cap. In Laconia, we allow them, the, the council, the city council, they know the rules. It's in our city charter. You can take the GDP, or what, consumer CPI, sorry, consumer price index, and that's where you start. If it's 2.5, then that's all you increase your spending by, okay? But at the same time, in Laconia and Franklin, we allow you to anticipate revenue from buildings that are already permits given out for the coming year. By the way, I don't even like that. I think it's too liberal. 
But anyway, that's the way it is. Caps are a caps for a reason. And the people voted for them. And I think it's wonderful, and I've got 15 seconds. I already said some good things about uh, our chairman, uh, and I wanted to say it again. I, I, Alan Glassman, as Frank did, and those before him are doing a great job with the party. Uh, I'd be happy to show up anytime, but please don't make me use the 11th commandment. <laughs> All right, okay. Neil, Bill, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Crop TV.